Sometimes I just like to sit down in my house and crack open a big Bart Merrick. <laughs> what does that make any sense? I don't know. I just, look, I, every time that we try to do an ad for Bart, I just try to change things up mm. because, I don't know, I just, mm. I love him, dude. Yeah. He is a good realtor, and we got Trevor in studio with us, and the reason why he's here is because this offer still stands. If you buy or sell a home through Bart Merrick, you get to come in and watch a show, and... You bought a home? Yep. Yeah. You you are 13 years old. Yeah. yeah. yeah I definitely have uh, baby face. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah. My God. I understand. If I shave, uh, I look like I'm in a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? For, I'm 26. About to turn 27. Okay, yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, see oh, me, man. This guy's me got Trevor. A, no, but this guy's got it right. We look the same age. No, but for... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll give Except you that my one. blood pressure is probably a little bit. Oh. Uh, how dare you? I'm. It's fine because I'm on medication. Um, <laughs> I'll give you that one. Only because pop you pop. almost died holding your breath today. Um. So anyway, uh, explain. Like you obviously, you heard we uh, us talk about Bart mm-hmm. Merrick, and then you give him a call and you say, "Hey, I'm interested in buying a house." Yeah. Uh, so, um, for my job, I work with real estate agents. I yeah. actually do websites for real estate agents, and I've worked with over four. Hundred at this point, so I know real estate agents really well. <laughs> yeah, and but my- none of those were the ones you went with. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So real estate agents are terrible at answering the phone. That's yeah. like the, my yeah. biggest gripe with them. And you guys kept saying like, you know, he'll pick up at any time. And I'm like, okay, well let me test this. So uh, I was at the jungle in the parking lot, and at like eight o'clock at night, I called, and he picked right up, like two rings. Yeah. He picked up. And he's well, like, Bart, hey, what's Bart's going not on? allergic to money, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, he's not an idiot. You yeah, know? Like, it's true. Look, what do you want to do? You make it happen. Yeah. You know? yeah, so I told him what I was looking for. We already knew the house that we wanted because uh, we bought in Winter Garden, and there's very slim picking out there because it's a smaller community. And it's building up. Oh, like Winter yeah. Garden, oh, like, yeah. I know, like, I can't say his name, but somebody that's very close to you and I bought a, uh, a townie like I, what, what I live in yeah. in Winter Garden a new one he actually already flipped it for more money than he bought it for yeah. so like it's, it's a very emerging area yeah it's definitely growing and it's it's one of those places it's great to like you go outside people are like playing with their kids walking with their dogs biking, jogging yeah. it's, it's, and that's it's what you wanted area. obviously exactly. how was the process with Bart? Uh, the process with Bart was good the process with Fannie Mae on the other end being the sellers he was you know trying to talk me down from a clip from you know every now and again because they were a little bit of a pain but he told me me from day one, I was like, "Hey, it's bank owned. Fannie Mae owns it. Yeah, and, you know, it's a foreclosure and all this." And he's like, "Okay, well, this is what to expect." And he was pretty much spot on. Yeah, that's you know? what. But that's why you have him as a go between yeah. to kind mm-hmm. of buffer the process because he knows the ins and outs of you know buying a home. Yeah. yeah. So um, we ended up. It took a little longer because Fannie Mae was kind of dropping the ball, with, but you know he was constantly on the phone like every single day trying to make sure that they would you know they would get us what they needed. Sure. And uh, yeah, the process went pretty smoothly. He was you know got a good price, everything. Like- uh, we act. The whole thing was really weird because they they refused to sell at the market value of the home. Like it was it was estimated you know the house was you know two twenty. Yeah, yeah. And they're like we refused to drop down to two twenty. They canceled our art contract for no reason at all, and then relisted it for two sixteen, which made no sense because they literally just shot themselves out of money, uh, mm-hmm. you know, shot their foot. So, yeah. and then we ended up re going through all the paperwork, and Bart was like, "Here, I got it. You know, it's all packaged up. It's sent over." And then we got it for less than they refused. <laughs> it, uh, it, the <laughs> that, process wait, made that's, no that's sense. That's a fantastic story. Well, yeah. Here's here's what I could tell you: is Bart has a lot of patience. When it comes to well, dealing with... He's a chill with, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, yeah. he is a yeah. chill dude. and uh, I could not do what he does because I'm too much of a hothead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bart's just like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Calm down. Like, Bart, I'll give you a for instance. Bart wanted to use the cooler that uh, uh, you get loaned me for my birthday party. Yeah, yeah. And there was still beer in it. I'm like, I'm sorry, Bart. I'll clean it. I'm like, He's like, hey, man. Calm down, just get it to me when you need it. <laughs> you're like he's just like yes. he's just real easy going. Like, he he's the guy. You yeah, know? He was, like, he's a very cool dude. He, there was a couple times where he had to go out there and like check the water. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm out in the rain. Uh, I'm digging in the grass trying to find the, the water. Yeah, and he's just he's super. I'm, he's super chill guy. I'm a cool dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so if you, I'm telling you, a, a ton of our listeners have bought or sold or done both. An unbelievable yeah. amount yeah. of people Th- have through Bart Merrick, and I would I, I personally endorse him as the 
best real. Well, you've used him in your family. Yeah, I mean, my mother in law used yeah. him to buy her house. It and uh, I would like to use him to move my mom to Orlando, but she's too stubborn to move. <laughs> yeah. so. But one day, anyway, yeah, one day. Bar- yeah, Bartho- pro- yeah, yeah. I probably have more interaction with real estate agents than most people. I'm with a couple hundred at this point, one on one connection, and the the communication, the back and forth, how quick he is, is it's fantastic. Every day, almost, I would have some sort of question. I'd text him, and he would never be like, "Hey, man, just give me a few hours." He'd be like. He's yeah. like, hey, I'll you know, I'll hit you back up at around noon. You know, I'll let you know what's yeah. going on. I heard something, but just give me some time to get it all together. Well, like for you. I said, he's not he's, here to you know pardon, but he's not here to bullshit. You yeah, know? like I mean, he's not an idiot. He wants to, you know, he, help he, you sell the house and yeah. like. But <clears throat> he also, if you're looking to sell your house, apparently right now um, is the best time to sell. And because there's not that much inventory, yeah. so people are getting asking price or maybe above asking price. Oh, I know. And there's that. multiple bids my, my, like, uh, within my, a week. My wife's mom is looking for a place to rent, and inventory is very, very, very low. Yes. So if you have a house and you're wanting to sell, like Tom said, yeah. now would be the time. Yeah, you can get the maximum price. Anyway, BarthaRealtor.com. Check out his website. Give him a call. Uh, like Trevor said, he'll pick up and talk to you.